All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, there we go. I think that'll work. All right, we're working on Diamond Art Club's uh, Hogwarts Crest, Fine Oddities Black. All right. Uh, square drill, uh, 22 inches by 26 inches, 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters. All right, 42 colors, including four ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, and they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under 150 uh, DMC code or color code is considered an AB. All right, so how's it going? Uh, I'm still getting glare, <laughs> but yeah. Alright, did I finish? I must have finished 471L. Okay, I still had the cover page on. Alright. Oh, this might fall a bit more. Okay, there we go. Alright, so how's it going? Hopefully you're having a good day. Just hanging out. Oh, where did that magnet go? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oops. Alright. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's just better to be set up. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Alright. I tried tilting my table to avoid the... Alright. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm still getting sunlight. It's a little bright out two days. Okay. Oh. Yikes. Fighting with the cover page here. Okay. Alright. Do we have an angle? That's a. Uh... Half decent. We're still getting sunlight, but hopefully it's not too crazy. All right, so hopefully your projects are going well. I just tilted my table up a bit here, and yeah, I'm still fighting with the logistics of it. Okay. I think I had just finished L. There wasn't very much, so we'll do the star next. Okay, so I'll get the star going here. Ah. All right, eight twenty-three is my color of choice here. All right. All right, I'll just hold on to the tray, I guess. Let's see what we can do here. Alright. Yeah, it's a nice sunny day, so that's pretty cool. Alright, the star is just up near the top here. So I'll just start filling it in here. Yeah, doing whipping shots during the day. <laughs> that nice little bit of sunlight here. Alright, so this is just like a flower petal. Yeah, down here. And yeah, there's a bit of leaf couple leaves here, just the tips, where I am on the canvas. Yeah. Alright. 
right, so a nice dark blue for these stars. Kind of reminds me of the American flag. Uh, the 50 stars for each state is that. Is that their symbolism in the American flag? I, I think so. Yeah, star for each of the states. Yeah, went grocery shopping with my mom this morning. Got that done. Had some breakfast. <laughs> mom was like, yeah, it's your last day of vacation. So, huh, what's your plan? I'm like, yeah, all right, uh, can, I can do a whip and chat or whatever. So, yeah. All good. <laughs> uh, could go on the treadmill too. Yeah, I'm just, just I have options. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I started the first Wheel of Time book, so. Kind of read the prologue and stuff, and it's just, yeah. All I got was a bunch of names thrown at me. <laughs> so, I, yeah. <laughs> Something about sheep, and then this girl fetching water, and... A dark one, and it's like, okay. It was just name after name, and I wasn't sure what the heck was going on. It's like, like there no summary about the story on the back cover. You know how you get like a brief synopsis of what's going to happen in the book, but yeah, not on this back cover, so I'm like, okay. And, uh... The second Outlander book is Dragonfly in Amber, I believe. I had to look that up too, just to be sure. So, I'm contemplating starting that one. <laughs> Let's go on the exercise bike and start reading that. But I did start Fellowship of the Ring, so generally for the exercise bike. So, yeah. <laughs> I think Dragonfly and Amber is going to have to wait a bit. Oh, no rush. I think there's just like a time shift in the second book. Twenty years. If I'm correct. So at least there's a plot synopsis on the back of the Dragonfly and Amber. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll figure it out. I'll just keep looking up the book order, look in the covers of the books or something to get the reading order. I think there's supposedly a 10th uh, Outlander book in the series. Um, 
That title hasn't been figured out yet. So yeah, that's quite a saga in itself. I don't know if that's going to be the last one, but... No, I really liked Outlander, so... The story just basically continues. Even if they do time skips, even if the author does time skips. Drills actually flipped over. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go. Hopefully, you can still see the canvas. I know the sun's kind of shining on it. or everywhere on here. This is one of those symbols where they just keep showing up. Lovely. <laughs> I'll get them eventually. There's a lot of this blue in here. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think we just have like here for the I think that's all the stars. <laughs> Holy cow. I was like, that was extensive. <laughs> all right. Jeez. All right. Triple dots. Nice. E23 is a very tricky color. Dear. sure if we've done 158 yet. Don't think so. So, it's always a first. Alright, 58. Lo and behold, it is a purple. Wow, cool. Fall, don't fall, and yeah, iced coffee. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, world save. Uh, had the rest of my coffee there. Okay, 158, triple dot. Right, yeah, I better hold on to this tray a little better. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there's just a small amount of these stars are like everywhere <laughs> that for sure. Ah, uh, hiding down here too, are we?
So, is that far less tri dot here? Oh yeah, I think so. Jeez. <laughs> Capital T. Out of the 603, but T. All right, here we go. Capital T. Purple to pink. <laughs> this canvas is wild. Ah, uh, it's another <laughs> uh, typical. Hmm. All of one of those uh, triple dot. Ah, oh, jeez. So it's like one more, isn't there? Uh, every time. All right, T figured out here. C oh F and T I could see how I could get tripped up there F F Oh it's all for T really Wow okay I guess Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'll we'll just close that container first before putting the cap back on the tray here. Okay, what's this tri dot thing? 58. Ah, <laughs> oh, lovely. Okay, goes purple for literally a drill. Ugh. Typical. Boop. Here you go. World saved. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, hilarious every time. Okay, uh, eat. Oh, yeah, that was, that was smooth. Ah. Right, it's stuck to the adhesive. Oh no. Uh. 
Oh. <laughs> Not to set your diamond painting tray. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm having a great time today. <laughs> oh no. Oh, how to ruin your adhesive. Oh, bugger. Okay. Seven ninety nine is neat. Okay. Uh, it should be okay, but holy cow. What not to do with a diamond painting tray? Don't set anything on open adhesive. Jeez. <laughs> oh, sad face. Oh, man. Ruin the canvas. I'm not very far through it. Oh, that'd be a pain. Yeah, can I get another replacement canvas? Uh, so I kind of set my diamond painting tray on it. Uh, you what? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you've been watching that goes the color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile page. My echoes of color facebook business page and my instagram oh excuse me and uh also post uh, the website links to two of the walking challenges that i'm presently doing conqueror which is uh lord of the rings and pacer which is silk road uh just basically a whole bunch of uh trading routes uh that were used in uh, Asia at 700 something AD. I don't know if it's BC or AD, but yeah, <laughs> there those are not affiliate links. They're just uh, website links to check out the challenges and other fitness challenges. So. Lord of the Rings and uh, Silk Road are the ones I'm doing right now, but yeah, they're just website links. I'm not an affiliate of either company, so yeah, but other than that, take care, all the best, and uh, yeah, don't put a yeah, diamond painting tray on adhesive. Yeah. <laughs> Lesson of the day. <laughs> okay. Take care. All the best with your crafting endeavors. And uh, see you again soon. Bye.